Welcome to today's Five Good Minutes on the Ten Commandments. Today we'll be considering the Eighth Commandment with David Bowens. Where else in our lives is it possible we could be stealing from God? I think one area is pretty clear. I believe it's in our giving. Now, I know when I say this, most of us probably think about money. And to be honest, yes, that is included, but it is not the only thing. I believe what we do with our money, our time, our resources, our gifts and abilities are often a reflection of where our treasure is. And there's a story in scripture that I think speaks clearly to this. And we find this story in Mark 10 verses 17 through 22. And it reads, as Jesus started on his way, a man ran up to him and fell on his knees before him. Good teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus answered, no one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony. You shall not defraud. Honor your mother and father. Teacher, he declared. All these things I have kept since I was a boy. Jesus looked at him and loved him. One thing you lack, he said. Go, sell everything you have and give to the poor. And you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. At this, the man's face fell. He went away sad because he had great wealth. As I shared at the end of yesterday's podcast, the heart is deceitful above all. And what we see in this story is a young man who has accumulated great wealth and was trying to seemingly figure out how to gain even more. And Jesus, knowing his heart and loving him, was honest with the young man and he told him that there was one thing that he lacked. And then he gave him a challenge. It was interesting because even in the, the commandments that Jesus listed, none of those were the first two, which we already have heard. If you've been listening to the podcast, were the most important ones were in those first two, all of the other commandments were wrapped in those two. But what he does is he challenges that man with the first two commandments with the very challenge. It was the challenge of, do you love me more than anything? And do you love your neighbor as yourself? He told him to sell everything he owned and give it to the poor. That is an expression of love to his neighbors and then come and follow me. And then he affirmed that he would have treasures in heaven. What he did was he actually showed that man his own heart to help him to see how the real issue was that he didn't love God more than everything. That his treasure was in all of his stuff and all of the works of his hands. And many of us today can find ourselves, if we're being honest, stealing from the kind of relationship that God desires from us because our treasure is really in the work of our own hands, is, the, is in the work of our own effort, in the work of what we have accumulated for ourselves. And we don't, in all honesty and in truthfulness, trust God. And if we understand this, then we will understand the truth of the passage where Matthew 6, 21 says, where your treasure is, there your heart will be. And if our heart is not set in the Lord, then the outcome of our life will be a lifestyle of regularly stealing the glory from God that we were meant to shine with every part of our life. God desires a full relationship with us. But if our treasure is bound here on the earth, among things, among people, among the works of our own hands, we'll always find ourselves trying to work it out for ourselves, trying to figure out our lives on our own and always stealing from God. And I tell you, my brothers and sisters, I do not want to be in that position. And I pray you don't either. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to check out all our content and podcasts on Orchard Hill Plus. You can find that and so much more on our website or the Orchard Hill app.